I'm Chrissy from Modeletto and we are a purpose-driven brand that's on a mission to bring more play into your day and to also introduce you to clay and pottery. And so today we are going to make a pinch pot and then we're going to turn that pinch pot into a vase. One like this one. So in each kit that you receive, uh, you will get a bag of clay, a sponge and some tools. And so to set up, you want to just grab a little bowl of water and work on a space that's non-sticky, so either a chopping board or a linen tablecloth or something like that. And so you just want to open up your clay bag and take out your clay slab. And it has an eco wrap film on it so that it keeps the clay moist. And so today for this pinch pot slash vase that we're making, I'm going to use the whole uh, piece of the slab and it will make the size of that vase there. And then you want to just snap your clay in half. Roughly about half, maybe a little bit bigger for this side. And then just pop that back into your clay bag just to keep it nice and moist while you're working. And then you just want to grab your clay and start tapping it. And just becoming really familiar with the medium. Such a therapeutic and lovely texture. And just tapping away until you form a ball. And so you look, it looks something like this. So you want to take the ball and pop it in your non-dominant hand. And then you want to take your thumb of your dominant hand and you just want to press it through the middle of the clay to about maybe the center. And then you just want to take your fingers around and doing like a pinch motion. And so just rotating around, holding it in your hand and not worrying about too much if there's any blobs or creases or we can smooth those out later. So we're just using the thumb and the fingers to uh, thin out the sides of the wall of the ball until you form something like this. And you want to just keep going around until you find the right thickness, just making sure that the walls are all the same size. And then you can pop it on the surface and just tap it lightly. So then that will create a uh, flat bottom. And then from there, you can just continue to rotate around and just pinching out your walls. And so I think I'm quite happy with the size of that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other half of the clay out of the pack. And then I'm just gonna snap off a little bit, which will be used for the neck. And then you're just gonna do the exact same with the other ball of clay, just tapping it. And so you just want to pinch it out until you have about the same size as your other one. And now we're going to do a technique called scoring. And if you just grab your knife tool from your toolkit, and then you want to place your pot in your left hand. And you want to just go around the edge and score it like this. Just making little grooves into the clay. And then you just want to go back over and sort of create like hashtags and just scoring through and you want to do the same on the other one as well. And so now just pop a little bit of water onto the edge of the rim of the bottom part and onto the top part. And what I like to do is just pinch it out a little bit. So just pinch out the walls of the pot and this will create a bit of a lip so that you can then blend onto the bottom. So just popping it on top like so and then you want to grab your blending tool which looks like this one and then you just want to blend it down. So just blending the top lip onto the bottom. So. Don't worry too much if it's not looking pretty. 
You can smooth that out later. And so what I like to do now is just kind of like mold it around. So just making it and making the pot go uh, a little bit because it's kind of sagging down. So just keep blending around and around. And then at this point you might want to grab your sponge just to smooth through. Just make sure that you don't use too much water because you can't take back how much water you put on. So it's always best to just use it lightly. But you can see here that I'm just smoothing out any edges or cracks. So now that it looks kind of like an egg shape, I like to place my pot on an angle like this and then just roll it. And then you want to just play around with what shape you'd like to um, make your pot. So this one is quite uh, it's quite big at the bottom and then comes up, but I'm gonna make this one um, kind of curve at the bottom. So if you just use the palm of your hand and just tap the bottom of it. And then you just wanna tap it on the surface. And then you can play around with just creating that bottleneck at the top. So just using your fingers to pinch around the top. And there's no rules to how your finished piece can look. You can just play around and make your own touches to it. So after you've made the little bottle neck here, you want to grab your wire tool. It's the one that has the little circle at the top and little triangle at the bottom. And so we're just gonna make little square in the top like so and then you just want to use your circle to pop out the top of the clay really satisfying and just make sure that no clay drops down at the bottom and then just play around with making the hole bigger using your thumb and pinching out and just blending any cracks as you go and so the beauty of this clay is there's no right or wrong and you know your piece can be as wobbly, wobbly as you like mine often are I'm quite happy with how long my neck is, but you can always create a longer neck by um, just grabbing some more clay and using the scoring and slipping technique and just adding a coil to the top. So I'll show you how to quickly do it. So depending on how much you want to add to the top, you use that amount of clay. But at the moment, I might just put a little bit like that. So you just grab your knife tool and you score the top. Use a bit of water and just do the same on your little coil. I'm just placing it around. So once you've popped the coil on the top, you just want to start blending. So just grabbing your paddle tool and blending down. And then you can just use your finger to smooth out with a little bit of water. And to make a beautiful straight edge like this one, you just grab your wire tool using the triangle end and you just angle it on the top of the rim 
and just go around the top really lightly and just carving off like a little shaving of clay cool and then you can just smooth with a little bit of water and if you'd like to add handles to your vase you do the same thing that we just did using the coil so just creating two little coils and then you score the side of the pot like that and then you just attach your little coils on so i'm quite happy with the finished result i could probably continue smoothing for another 10 minutes or so just because it's so nice and therapeutic but i actually really like the wobbly um, effect of how it's looking at the moment and now your piece is ready to air dry so we'd recommend that you pop it in a dark place maybe in a cupboard or something like that where there's not any direct sunlight so that it can dry evenly and for a piece this size I would probably leave it to about a week to dry fully and then after that you can paint it with one coat of sealant which is in your pack and then you can leave that to dry and then paint another coat of sealant and it will leave that beautiful natural uh, effect like most of the ones on our Instagram or you can paint it like this one so you can buy acrylic paints on our website and then you can paint it with a few layers of paints uh, leaving 30 minutes in between for it to dry and then you paint it with two coats of sealer after that but making sure between each layer that you wait for it to dry and so these pieces are air dried and they are all ready to have uh, air dried flowers in if you'd like to get your pieces fired, make sure that after you've done this step um, and you've created your piece that you leave it to dry but don't pop any sealer or paint on it and take it to your local kiln to get fired.